a logistic growth model. Okay, here we go. Kind of follows what we call a sigmoidal curve. And here's our formula, the general formula. It's a little bit weird looking. Here's an example of one, and that's what the actual graph is. And I talked about this briefly, kind of like a deer population, how it starts out small, it will grow, but then it's only going to be able to support, the resources only support so much food. That's an example of how this would work. You have growth, and you have good growth, and then it starts to level off. Okay, that's what it, the growth model looks like. So, here we have an increasing rate of growth, now we have a decreasing rate of growth, and then right there we actually have very little growth, no, or no growth at all, it just levels off, stays about the same. So, let's talk about a spread of a virus. Oh, kind of ignore that, that should have popped up there in a second. But here's our question. On a college campus of 5,000 students, one student returns from vacation with a contagious flu virus. The spread of the virus is modeled by this formula. They're going to give you all these formulas because there's no way we could come up with all this stuff. Okay? And there's our T in time where T is number of days. Why is the total number affected for T days? The college will cancel classes when 40% or more of the students are infected. That's where this comes in. So 40% of 5,000 is what? 2,000. All right, so first off, let's do this here. How many students are affected after five days? Well, first off, guess what? Plug five into T, put it in your calculator, and you get 54. There's the A answer. That's all you gotta do on some of these. Find the A, plug it in, plug it in. Should have had the little doggy pop up. Now I need to find when we'll cancel classes. Well, that happens at 40% of 5,000, which is at 2,000. Or you take 0.4 times 5,000, or 0.40 actually be better. But And now, here's my thing. I'm going to plug this 2,000 into this equation right here to solve it. Okay, so what's the first thing I probably want to do? is the following. Multiply this side times that and divide by 2,000. Basically I switch sides here, that moves that to the numerator, this one to the denominator, and 5,000 divided by 2,000 is 2.5. Now minus 1 from each side, and I went ahead and divided by 4,999 at the same time. Minus 1 first, and then divide by 4,999 gives me this. And how am I going to get rid of the E? Natural log of that, and natural log of that number right there which if I put this in a calculator, I'll get negative 8.112, negative 0.08, divide by negative 0.08. So they would cancel classes after 10.14 days, or after 10 days, they will have 40% of their students affected. Woo, that's when you get to cancel class. Yay, then you get to watch it all online like you're doing now. Ha <laughs> ha.